welcome to the vlog guys. Uh, we're here in Byron Bay, we arrived late last night, just woke up early because we're jet lagged, went down to the beach, got the drone behind you. It is absolutely phenomenal. Check out the little sneak peek right here. Anyways, now we're heading uh, down into the town of Byron Bay. We're staying in a resort just a little bit uh, outside of uh, the main area of Byron Bay. Um, this place is absolutely stunning. I will definitely show you the resort. You walk down this long path here and all the houses do. You have your own little huts on either side. It's, it's amazing. If anybody's traveling to Australia, know this. You gotta have a visa. <laughs> we didn't really... I mean, I guess we should have looked that up beforehand, but we came to the airport and with about half an hour till the cutoff, we were scrambling to get Australian visas, which is not the most fun. She didn't say when, she didn't say when, but at least I got her on the phone. had breakfast at a place called uh, Dips Cafe. If you're here in Byron Bay, go to Dips Cafe. It was absolutely phenomenal the food there. It was perfect and it was big too. So it's probably about a 900 calorie meal. So we're gonna go and try and burn that maybe 200 calories off, make it 700 calorie meal. That way we still got room for another 2400 for the rest of today. Like look, look at this hotel. I'm just walking from our room. You walk through like an absolutely tropical area what you're walking through to get to the pool to get to the spa the gym everything you just walk on these paths like this we saw this morning we saw uh, one kangaroo actually just off to the side we saw something else um, it looked like it was a reptile it looked, and then somebody told us it was called a water dragon kind of interesting and there's lots of like chickens and I don't know roosters wherever they are all just walking around this place is absolutely beautiful wait till you see the pool and the, the spa everything there's I think they're on 4.2 acres here so and it's one of the only five-star resorts in Byron Bay I think there's only one other. now don't get me wrong if you guys are coming to Byron Bay this place is not the place you want to come if you're on a budget it is very expensive uh, breakfast here is $40 per person it's a buffet um, and I think it's about $400 a night here. It's pretty expensive. If you're on a budget, there's a ton of places for budget. The Byron Bay is a very backpacker friendly, surf kind of hippie town. And there's tons of places. I came here when I was 18. It's around $20 to $40 a night if you're staying in hostels. Uh, but that's on the lower end. And then you can get kind of single rooms for $100 a night. We made it to the beach and we're about to do a little bit of surfing. Check this out. We're gonna get Big D my uncle to get in there with the GoPro and we're gonna try and get some footage of me getting up on a board if I can get up. We'll see. Back at the hotel. We're leaving tomorrow. We're actually going back to Brisbane and then we're getting a flight right to the top of uh, well, almost the top of Australia. We're going up to Cairns uh, where the Great Barrier Reef is up there. Uh, so this is the last day at the hotel, so we're gonna go spend some time at the pool. This is how you walk from your room back to the main area there. They got the spa, gym, restaurants, uh, an edgeless, what do they call it, infinity pool. It's absolutely stunning. Should know better, cause you always do this to me. of the dark. The slow day, the calm and the night will unfold I never thought that I would be traveling this road 